Rudy Radio presents He Said, She Said, powered by Rude Rangers Entertainment. I'm No Left from Not Just Sports by No Left, and my co host is Yvonne, the Motivator Man, from her show, Determined Women of Destiny. This show. He got it right. <laughs> <laughs> this show explores all types of topics from the male and female perspective. We are going to make you laugh. We may even make you cry. But most of all, we will make you think. So do us a favor and please like and share this episode with all your friends and family on all social media platforms. We encourage you to be a part of the conversation. So please comment in the chat section below. Are you ready? I am ready. Mrs. Man. Mr. Epps. Today's topic is the top five things. Top five things. I'm sorry. I said top five things. It's the do's and don'ts. It's the do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. Do's and don'ts. Who, are, who you want me to start? No, no, no. I'm good. I, I will start with number five. Um, what you no, need? No, do's and oh, don'ts. Oh, do's and don'ts. Okay. Do's and oh don'ts. my goodness. We're yeah. both off our game tonight. People forgive us and thank I ain't you off so my much. game. I just yes, you know, misspoke. I ain't off my game. I'm ready for you. Let's go. Okay. Well, we <laughs> want to first thank all of our listeners. We love yes. you. Thank you for your support. Come yes. on, man. You yes. guys are just loving us and we're loving you back. Hugs. That's a whole entire fact. and kisses. All right. So the first thing you want to do, and when you're dating multiple people, now mind you, this is my disclaimer. I do not sign on for this. And I'll tell you why later. But if you're going to date multiple people, you do have to make sure, ladies, that your birth control is on point. Uh, and guys, you uh, better bring your condoms. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No reckless squirting. No because reckless it makes, squirting. Because it makes no sense. If you're going to have multiple partners, you can easily infect someone with something. And then yes. they'll take it to the next partner. So if you're going to do this, mind you, I am not signing on and saying you should, but no judgment zone over here with Yvonne. You're going to have to make sure that your birth control method is a barrier method. And so you're just not worried about getting pregnant ladies or getting her pregnant guys you're worried about being safe so practice safer sex methods i i totally agree and ladies do do something extra have yourself a plan b pill on deck oh, don't good. wait don't wait till the day of now you gotta run the cvs looking crazy just in your you know in your travels in your travels, while you out here buying mouthwash and band-aids and Vaseline for them heels, get yourself a Plan B pill. How much is a Plan B pill, Yvonne? First of all, you're not getting a Plan <laughs> B pill. If we're saying use birth control, Plan B is not birth control. Plan yes, B but is, just in case. No, no, just in case. Just in case is have five condoms instead of one. Okay, I, I, I agree. So you use the birth control pill. Plan B. I is agree. Not, plan B is not a plan. I agree. But you it think not all? A plan. You think all three thousand of our listeners are going to do exactly what we say? Well, I'm telling you this since you're asking for information, and remember, I was a sexual reproductive educator for women for over twenty years. Plan B is not your plan B. Ladies, those hormones going to mess you up. It's going to okay, mess you so up. Okay, so you're saying don't use plan B. Don't use the plan B. And the reason why I don't use plan B is because I want you to use your condoms and your birth control. Okay, we agree. We agree. Okay, let's say this. The condom breaks. Okay. And that's the reason why 
you have you're on the birth control pill or you're using a diaphragm or uh you have um or you have the IUD. Okay, we agree with all okay, of that. Okay, we ain't little kids no more. We, we got some kids. reckless listeners. Okay, well for you reckless listeners, time to get <laughs> unreckless. Cause if you gonna have multiple partners, the last thing you need is some recklessness in your life. Okay. Well, well, the whole the whole entanglement is reckless from the gate. Okay, let, let, there's let no be such thing as that. entanglement. It's reckless from the gate. Okay, we're not using entanglement. I don't <laughs> care what Will and Jada says. Ain't no such thing as an entanglement. Okay. The whole entanglement is reckless from the gate. Yeah, so question, is. question. Listen, y'all can listen. listen. I talk from a re reality-based world. My world is very reality-based, okay? I know all 3,000 of y'all are not going to um, use a condom, although you should use a condom. I know all 3,000 of you are not going to be on birth control, although you should be on birth control. And you're not going to use a diaphragm or IUD, although you should. But just in case, Break no, glass know that. in emergency. Know Have that. yourself that plan B. Now, question to you. How yes. much is the plan B pill? It all depends on where you go. I don't know. I don't know what they sell it for in CVS, because I, I believe you can get it in CVS. Um, when you go to clinics such as Planned Parenthood, I think it starts at a sliding scale. That's the reason why Planned Parenthood um is a good place to go for birth control and pap smears and all of that um so you don't have to go back to terminate a pregnancy uh <laughs> but you know you have to go to your clinics and stuff to find that out i don't i don't know the, the fee for it oh okay so could you get a plan b with the ebt card is that possible um i wouldn't say with the ebt card but if you got medicaid you can get it Oh, okay. Because I need to know these things now. I need to know these things. What are we doing? Ladies, please. Ladies, please. Yvonne is 100% correct. 100% correct. Like, for instance, your boat is supposed to float. That don't mean you got life. You ain't got life preservers on it. You oh, need to be God. careful. You need to be careful. What they say is mama's baby and daddy's baby. Okay? Please, ladies. All too often, we got too many young ladies out here stuck with babies or due to reckless behavior. I mean, let's well, call it what it is. Well, we don't want to add judgment now. Come on. No, no, no we're not adding judgment. Because you say it's reckless. Doing. If we say it's reckless behavior, we're adding a judgment. What we're saying is that they have chosen to have more than one partner. And if that is your choice, what you must, M-U-S-T, capital letters, bold and italicized, you must make sure your birth control is on point. And ladies. Not only, not only just the pill, make him use a condom. And yeah, we know, oh, I'm too big. Trust me, a condom can go all the way what? over your fist down to your elbow. I'm 59. I ain't seen that yet. I ain't seen that yet. <laughs> Ladies and men. Ladies Use them and condoms. Men. Use the condoms. If you out here doing this, doing this stuff, right, <laughs> just stuff. know that you're not ready to be parents. Just understand that. You're not well, ready to be parents. You're not ready to be you, parents with who you sleeping with. <laughs> you can't. You, you, you ain't even willing to commit to this person. That's you're right. not ready to commit to a child no we well let, let's talk real we have this deal going on a lot this happens a lot more than we want to admit most definitely and okay. you see if by chance you happen to get pregnant you may make a decision that you don't want to make because of the child that you're getting ready to have so instead of having to make decisions that you don't want to make to put yourself in a certain type of position, make sure you're using your condoms and your birth control. And like I said, ladies, make sure you always have condoms. Oh, he comes up with, oh, I don't like them. Don't worry about it. I know how to uh -huh. put it on. You'll love it. 
Hold on, man. Don't accept no condoms from no, no women. Men, you come with your own condoms. Women be out here doing reckless things with condoms. Bring your own condoms. But we got to go to break. So we'll be back. All right. You looking for love? You tired of being lonely? You ready to find that special someone? Rude Rangers TV is introducing an exciting new dating show, and we want you to be a guest. If you want to find that special someone, go to RudeRangers.com today and apply for the new dating show that's about to launch. That's RudeRangers.com. Hurry up and apply, because believe it or not, your special someone is waiting. Round two. Fight. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to He Said, She Said. I'm Yvonne, the motivator man from Determined Women of Destiny. And my crazy co-host is Noel (laughs) Epps from Not Just Sports by Noel Epps. Uh, You can see my show every Thursday night, 7 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. And Noel is every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. and every Sunday at 9 a.m. We're discussing the do's and don'ts of if you have multiple partners that you sleep with. I know I didn't say that the way you did, Noel. I'm trying to make it sound a little bit better. (laughs) For those who do it, they don't feel like we're casting judgment. So uh, one of the do's was make sure you use birth control. We don't want you out here having to make decisions because you found yourself in a predicament. Use birth control. So okay. you got to do, right? That's your That's do. Right. So That's I guess do. I got a don't. Mm-hmm. So here's the don't. Don't talk. Shut your mouth. Cayete la boca on. Fill it big cool. Shut your mouth. You talk too much. Your mind chats up too much. Shut your mouth. Oh, God. Shut okay, wait a minute. Mouth. Wait a minute. It's you a don't shame. need to announce this foolishness. It's a shame they can't see us because I just fell out. <laughs> he said, Cay la boca. Cay la boca ahora. He said, shut your mouth right now. In right Spanish. Now. Not I'm now. done. Right now. Oh, God. I'm done. But you Please. know what? You know what? No, <laughs> absolutely. Really, you're correct. You're correct. You don't need to be running around telling stuff. And you know, the reason why that happens is because you want to throw smut in somebody's face. And it's usually more women than guys because guys ain't going to talk about really who they're sleeping with unless they one of them guys whose self-esteem is messed up. You yes. ask guy, you ask guy, oh, you sleeping with Yvonne? And you know what he'll do? He'll grin to let you yeah. think whatever you want to think. He'll just grin. He's not going to say, yep, he'll just grin. But women, oh, girl, please. Her man ain't all of that. Why? Because he was with me Saturday and I worked him out. Shut your mouth. Just shut yeah, up. He, he is all of that because you hit him Saturday working him out. But please, please, please. Not everybody needs to know your business. Thank you. Shut Handle your, your business. stinking ass trap ASAP. Please keep your mouth shut. That that ruins the whole thing. I mean, Are it you ruins the whole these- fun. You cussing at these people. Stop it. Stop it. I, 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 I get, I, it drives me crazy. It drives me. Okay, you out here being sloppy. Okay, uh-huh. you out here being sloppy. Right? And then you already are, you already are doing something, especially if the partner is married or has another partner or whatever it may be. Okay? It doesn't warrant, it, there's not that much anger in the world. To make you just go blow up the spot because you want to run your mouth. You don't look good in this when you open your mouth. You don't look good in this. Oh, preach that. Because let me tell you something. You know, when you, the reason why people do this is a couple of reasons why they do it. But the reason why guys would be like, oh, I got this chick, I got that chick, I got this chick, I got that chick, is because they so messed up themselves. So they think telling other people, that they got all these women or messing with all these women, they think the other guys are looking at them like, wow. The other guys are looking at them like, you stupid. You going to get some penicillin shot in both your butt cheeks. And you may get something that penicillin can't cure. 
and nobody <laughs> and nobody's gonna drink after you. When you put your glass down on the table, they taking that glass, they throwing it away because they don't uh, know where your mouth is. In days of 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 COVID nineteen, I don't think that um you know you want to be around here with. Multiple partners drinking after people, and even smoking after people. We got people Wait. still running around here passing L's around. Listen, you're talking about COVID. Before COVID hit, we had an HIV that would take your tail out in months, not years. Oh, that's a whole fact. Well, with this COVID-19, a lot of people forgot about HIV. Well, you know, because a lot of people also forgot that you run around here kissing, like you said, uh, switching cigarettes, smoking weed behind each other, having sex unprotected. COVID will jump on you and wrap you tighter than that morgue dress is going to have you. <laughs> people, please. You know? Please, people, keep your mouth shut. You don't look good in this, girl. You don't look good in this, my guy. This is a self-esteem issue. Yes, this is an is. issue. This is an issue of you trying to show your 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 sexual prowess yes. because you're lacking somewhere else. Yes, That's and I'm all not, this is. I'm not gonna say no names, but I say an initial because you know I like to air people out. But then again, I gotta walk the streets. But WM, could you please <laughs> stop thinking? WM. Yes, There's a lot of WMs thinking. out this world. Now listen, so then all of them need to check <laughs> themselves. You need some water? You coughing? Oh, come on, because you make me laugh. Listen, so WM. Because you out here, you listen, out here ratting. And that's we talk right. about not ratting. That's right, I'm ratting. WM. We Keep talk about opinion. keeping your mouth shut. No, I'm telling you. I'm open. I'm airing them out. WM. <laughs> Keep that stinking penis in your pants. Too many Lord people are have mercy. It. Don't nobody want it no more, okay, oh. WM? Oh man! Listen, please, everybody please don't, know. And then, everybody don't know throw subs about. either. <laughs> don't throw subs either. <laughs> subs, subs is whack. Okay. Stop throwing subs. Yvonne threw a full sub. We no. ain't gonna throw subs either, okay? Just please, if something goes awry, let's say something goes wrong, mm -hmm. okay? You, it hurts ignoring the person, cutting off the relationship hurts more than you opening your mouth. You opening your mouth is about instant gratification. Well, having multiple partners is about instant gratification. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> but if something goes awry, all you gotta do is ignore the person Keep them mouth shut. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have yes. you ever dated more than one person? Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have too. Yeah. Back in the okay. you got, listen, let me let me make this clear. In our 20s, everybody is a hub. Okay. We I was barely in my 20s. Listen, I was too. For a short period of time. You gotta understand one thing. In your 20s, you're experimenting. I'm not saying it's okay. You're experimenting. We're really not talking to the 18, 20 year olds. We are, but we're not. We're talking to these old behind folks that got gray hair like you and me, and they know better. <laughs> they know better. Okay, so if you're 50, let's say 40 and over. Yeah. Let's go 35 and over. Yes. Mm -hmm. 35 and over. Yes. Is it, oh, is it correct, politically correct? Morally correct mm -hmm. at 35 and older to date more than one person. Let me bring this to you. If you are 35 and older and you're dating more than one person, you're schizophrenic. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I tell now you are diagnosing people. <laughs> listen, yes, yes, yes. Mental health was my other fear. But listen, every time you're with a different person, you have to act a different way. When you go home, who you got left? You don't even know who you are when you get home because you have changed to be so many different people to be with all those different people you with. When you get home, you crazy as a bed bug because you don't even know who you are and what you need to do. Okay, so now let me ask you another question. I'm who is at fault? Who is at fault? Is the, is the person who's dating multiple people at fault? 
or the people dating the most the one person the multiple people date the one person are they at fault there's there's not a fault here the person that's dating multiple people got some issues and the person that wants to be with someone who dates multiple people has some issues and I, i'll tell you why when you date someone who is with many other people who you dating you don't even know we date multiple people too so, Hello? so pe people understand this too thank you if you're dating somebody if you're knowingly dating somebody with who are dating multiple people that person is you listen don't marry that person because that person them. is going to that person is going to continue to date multiple people even in your marriage and okay? i i absolutely agree with you and we're going to attack that when we come back from break i'm not going to let that i'm not going to let that go but we're going to go to break we're going to attack that when we get back um so break time people break down don't go get a glass of water and don't get no fried chicken because we're going to be right back <laughs> Sir, I'm a little uncomfortable with the way we've been having our Monday morning meetings. A little uncomfortable? Well, extremely uncomfortable with meeting in your bathroom, sir, while you're in the tub. Well, I'm wearing a tie. I can see that, sir. Over the weekends, I play ball with the kids, do yard work, and play tennis. So by Monday, my muscles are very sore. Spending all day in a hot tub is the only thing that helps. Have you tried? Wrapping myself in cabbage leaves? Yes, I have. Actually, sir, I was thinking of Tiger Balm pain relieving patches. Tiger Balm? A little jar with a tiger on it? Yeah, right. Tiger Balm. It's been around for about 100 years. Jinkies. And now Tiger Balm comes in these neat pain relief patches. Mm, could you hand me that duck there? You just stick the patch on where it hurts. Same tiger on the package. Uh -huh. And Tiger Balm's pain relief patches are very fast acting and long lasting mm -hmm. so we wouldn't have to meet in your bathroom every Monday. And I'd be less pruney and your report wouldn't be in the microwave. What? I dropped your report in the tub so I put it in the dryer but it caught fire so my wife doused it with water and put it in the microwave. Let me just go grab it. No, no, don't get up, sir. Oops, sorry. Sitting back down. Long lasting, fast acting, pain relieving Tiger Balm patch. Works where it hurts. Round three. Hey, welcome back to He Said, She Said. And today's discussion is the... Do Let me do this before I, before I tell you the topic. Shout out to Dion McKinney. Dion McKinney is the one who brought this topic to us. Okay, oh, so all the, all the people who are listening, if you have topics, let us know. Let us know. Hit us up. Let us know. Get in our inbox. Let us know. Or put it right there, right there in the chat screen. Let us know. So shout out to Dion McKinney. But hey, today, Dion. Dion, wait a minute. Dion is my new BFF in my head. <laughs> Dion's good people. She's good yes, people. And she definitely seems like she is. Yeah. So today's topic is the do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. The do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. Now, you had something you wanted to touch on before we move on to yeah, a, I, don't, I wanted do. to go. I wanted to go back to what you had said, um, you know, about the person that's dating multiple people and you're dating that person. You're dating everybody they're dating. So when you're in the bed with them and if they're dating three people, you're dating those. You're having sex with those three people, too. And then you're having sex with everybody that those three people are having sex with, and those people, and those people, and those people. So you Girl, you out here talking like a Ponzi scheme. That's a Ponzi scheme. Listen, it is <laughs> almost a, a, a pyramid scheme. But, <laughs> you know, you want to think about that. You want to think about that. Because yeah. if you feel that you're going to fall in love with a player, as uh, Noel said before break, players never stop playing. They don't. This is this is what they do. And you know what's really sad? When I meet a guy that's my age, like between the ages of 55 and 60, and they're still playing, and they think that's attractive. No, that makes me want to puke on your shoes, boo. And when you are 55 and 60, ladies, you know the player. They have a whole uniform. They have a whole <laughs> uniform they wear. Trust me. You That's can right. tell by their attire right. that they are some old players. So if the uniform is a brightly colored suit, um, 
some gators, okay? <laughs> uh, the hair slicked over the ball spot. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the player. This is the player uniform. No, that's not a okay? player. That's an old, <laughs> unable to dress well pool. <laughs> okay, that's an old player. You call it what you want. No, but listen. let's do a do. Let's do a do. Okay. Let's do a do. A do. So we got the do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. Well, wait a, a minute. Do. Did you take my do? You're supposed to be the don'ts. I'm supposed to be the do's. Go ahead. I thought we was all today. We got to do. I, I got to do. <laughs> Respect the 10 mile radius rule. Oh, Respect the 10 mile radius rule. You can't have two women both in Amityville. You can't have two women in the in the first tabernacle of Yvonne, man. You can't have two women in the same school. You can't respect the 10 mile rule. You got to spread these women out. These women can't be uh, uh, comparing notes, bumping into each other. You can't have that foolishness. I'm telling you, it's ugly if you don't respect the 10 mile radius rule. And what I will add to that, which I know I'm losing my mind because I'm in agreement. When you respect that rule, you're respecting the women guys that you're dealing with. That's, that is definitely respect. Don't have me living on Stone Boulevard, WM, and you got a chick living on Clocks Boulevard. <laughs> Don't Listen. have me, wait a minute, don't have me SM coming out to Hempstead and you got about four chicks SM. That's right, I'm airing you out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Lord have out. mercy. Only a Lord have mercy. Didn't we talk about keeping your mouth shut? Okay, Didn't I'm sorry. I that? broke I broke the rule. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So now, so now but respect. To... Respect. That's right. Be respectful with respect your Respect the 10 mile radius rule. So now, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yes. You talk about WM. Oh. I can, no, we can't do it. Did show. you? Yes. Did you push WM into another woman's arms? Okay, you have to understand one thing. And everybody says that's my favorite line. You gotta understand one thing. You can't push anybody anywhere. They oh, go yes, freely. You can. Uh, I'm sorry. They go freely. They go freely. That's I don't true. care. You love your wife. If you and your wife are having issues, you ain't running out to find a vagina. You're running to find a solution to the problem. Let me tell you something, women. Don't you listen can go to ahead and listen. Woman. You can go ahead and listen to Yvonne if you want to. But you go ahead and you keep thinking that a man isn't an emotional being. Of course. A man is an emotional being. A lot of men don't know that they're emotional beings. They're not sensitive enough to be attached to their emotions. So if they are not getting the emotions, the sensitivity, the love that they're expecting from the woman that they love, Oh, they go go somewhere else. Just like women. Okay, this is what I'll tell you. This is what I'll say to that. I'll say this to that. You're talking about a man that doesn't have multiple women. You're talking about a man that's not satisfied at home and finds satisfaction in the arms and the bed of someone else. Someone why why do they have multiple partners from no, the beginning? No, no. No, no, no. Somebody who has multiple partners from the jump, they could care less what you're giving them. They are only fueled by the number of people that they're with. What I will say, if you're in a committed relationship and you're not meeting that person's needs, whether it's male or female, yes, they may be driven to find themselves in the arms of someone else. But women... Truth be told, women are attracted to men with large numbers of sexual partners. You're not attracted to some guy who says, oh, Yvonne, I've been with one woman my whole entire life. You're not attracted to that guy. You're attracted to the guy 
who's telling you, yo, listen, um, I got 30, 40 women. <laughs> no, nobody's attracted to the guy that says he got 30 or 40 women. Not Why 30 he got 40. 30 or 40 women then? Not 30 or 40. But <laughs> I, I do believe that we, not we, some women are attracted to the bad boy. Because of the fact it's exciting. It's like um, a hot fudge sundae. You know doggone well, ladies, if you eat a hot fudge sundae, you're going to gain some weight. But you eat it anyway because it tastes good. It's exciting. You just don't uh, want the cherry. You want the hot fudge. You want the vanilla. You want uh, the nuts. So it's exciting. Uh, it's uh, not good for you, but it's exciting. Now, the brother you're talking about is the apple. That is so nutritious for your body, but it could sometimes be boring. At my age right now, I'll take boring. Boring is very exciting <laughs> to me, okay? But there's some women that need excitement. Now, listen, I know I know men who are known players. Yeah, you sure do. Known players. You know, and they're very good friends of yours. Known <laughs> players. And yeah. guess what? And guess what? There, there were women who chased them. Right. Who chase them knowing that they play Well, there must knowing be that they got multiple partners. He must have something good because everybody wants him is the consensus. Okay, that's my point. That's my point. And so women you gotta always, respect. And women always feel that if he chooses me, then I'm the head B. I got it going on because he chooses me. They just don't realize he doesn't choose anybody. He chooses himself at the end. He of doesn't the day. even choose himself. And, and be clear, we're using this word "he" entirely too much. There are female players out here. Let's oh, be yeah. very clear. Yeah. There are female players out here. Oh yeah. And boy, do I love me a female player. I just ain't marrying one. I I like their conversation. They are hilarious to me. Oh, a female player, and oh, yeah. too often, too often, those women are called hoes. Most definitely. Not too often. All the time they're called. Why? That. Why? That's a word made up by women. Why? Why can't a woman also have multiple partners? If a man can have multiple partners, why can't a woman have multiple partners? That is the question of at least three or four centuries. They <laughs> haven't answered that question yet. But the fact is, you know, sex is still taboo in our society. And that women are not supposed to be the aggressor when it comes to sex because if you do that doesn't mean that you're a lady what what, what adele give us adele give us that she is such a lady adele Givens is, is not she is she says she's such a lady listen no, listen she, lady she's such a liar lady. Listen, ladies, just like men got to respect that 10-mile radius rule, mm -hmm. you too got to respect the 10-mile radius We usually do. We usually don't, do. Don't have your man up in the gym playing basketball with the uh, with your other boyfriend. Don't have your boyfriends up in the uh, uh, restaurant, one working and one is getting the food. Please, please, respect the 10-mile radius rule. We usually but, don't. We don't. We usually don't do that, but we got to go to break. <laughs> and uh, when we come back, We'll come back with a, uh, uh, what was it, a don't? A don't. Yeah, we'll come back with a don't. Round four. We are back. You are listening to He Said, She Said on Rudy Radio. I am Yvonne, the motivated man from Determined Women of Destiny. My co-host is the crazy <laughs> Noel Epps from Not Just Sports by Noel Epps. No, you got an yes. announcement. Tell us what you're thinking. Okay, this is what I'm doing on Not Just Sports by Noel Epps every Sunday at 9 a.m. 
me and my co-host Gary, we pick the NFL games. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an NFL game of the week. And the first 10 people who pick the game plus the score, closest to the score without going over, we're going to cash out them $20 for their lunch on Thursday. All we're going right. to send them $20 and, you, and lunch will be on Not Just Sports by No Less on okay. Thursday. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, when, it, when do I have to tune in? 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. We're going to pick the game of the week. Let's say it's Buffalo versus Kansas City. Okay, you got to pick the winner plus the score, closest to the score without going over. Only 10 people, the first 10 people in my inbox. The first okay. 10 people. Okay, That's every week we're going to do this till the end of the season. Okay. And then the next day on Thursday, we're going to put $20 on your cash app. And if you... If you like lunch, if you want to go get exquisite lunch, go ahead, knock yourself out. If you want to go buy 20 cans of tuna, go ahead and knock yourself <laughs> out. Okay, but it's going to be on Not Just Sports by No Less. <laughs> well, wonderful. I'm going to have to text you because, you know, I'll be in church at 9. I'm on the sound ministry. So I'll be texting you as I'm setting up the stream, y'all. Because <laughs> I want that 20 I want that twenty dollars. So, yeah, we're gonna pay for your lunch. Could you? So, um, I like that idea. That's really nice. That's that's yeah. really nice. Determined Women of Destiny has to come up with something. So, if any <laughs> of you have any tips, hey, just hit me down there in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see Determined Women of Destiny um, do to uh, just give back to y'all. Yeah, right, we we'll give so it back. You did a don't. You did a don't or a do. I did a do, so you're going to do a don't. Okay, a uh, don't. All right. Don't leave information hanging around. Oh. Don't do that. You don't mean, that. you don't mean, that. you mean a, a 34E Brazil? Uh, well, <laughs> that, and, and don't, you know, don't come in smelling like the one you was with before don't have lipstick on your collar don't have panties in your glove compartment you know uh don't have nothing in your pocketbook ladies but the but the dating okay we both agree that dating multiple people is not is not cool right it ain't cool we it's mm -hmm. not cool no. But if they both are in this type of relationship and are aware that they're dating multiple people. In agreement, in agreement. In okay. agreement that they're dating multiple people. Why is bumping into a pair of pair of panties in the glove compartment an issue? It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's panties in my car. Right, but if I happen to go into your glove compartment for something, now I know you with multiple people. This has now just hit me smack in my face, and it's disrespectful. It's like the ten mile rule. You know, you gotta have, you have to have some boundaries here. You have to have some rules and some regulations. This is a game. You're into sports. There's rules and regulations, and leaving. Those panties in that glove compartment, that's a technical, that's a foul. That ain't okay. That ain't that's okay. That's a technical to play? That's that, a hey, to play. Huh? That's right. That hey. ain't okay. Uh-uh. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. So and you still have to show a level of respect. You should. Even though. That's right. Even though that all parties are aware that. You're dating multiple people. There needs to be a level Don't of respect. Leave, do not leave tad, tattletale signs. Don't leave <laughs> information hanging around. Ladies, don't just drop somebody's phone number on his floor. Don't do that. Don't, don't now, let now that let's happen. Say this. Let's say this. This is a power move by some women. It is. Right? Mm -hmm. She take her little panties off. Yeah. Unbeknownst to you. Mm -hmm. They stuff them in your glove compartment. Can I give can I give you a secret? <laughs> Guys, you listening? This is go ahead. Go ahead. We always leave something behind. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. 
We wow. always, it may not be our panties. It could be something as simple as you went to the bathroom and we sprayed your pillow with our perfume. Wow. Always. Wow. That's something behind. That's right. And the thing for me is that whenever a guy asks me, wow, you smell like heaven. What are you wearing? I said, mm -mm, I ain't telling you. Because, see, the next chick won't have that perfume on. You won't even be able to give it to your mama. But I'll spray it on your pillow before I leave. Ooh, that's dirty. It ain't dirty. That's dirty. It's not dirty. It'll keep oh, you thinking so of dirty. me. That will keep you thinking of me. Spray oh, yeah. a perfume yeah. on the pillow. On the pillow. Before you leave. That's and right. you know, you know I got event coming over tomorrow. See, I may not know Yvette's coming over. Oh, that's so dirty. Oh, that's I may, so dirty. I may not know, but we always leave something. See, the dirty girl will leave her drawers. See, I'm taking my drawers with me, okay? <laughs> You're not going to have my drawers. <laughs> that's the beauty of dating a, a plus-size woman. She going to take her pants. Her drawers might not fit that glove compartment. <laughs> and she taking her bra, okay? She ain't leaving that. Those two things coming with her, all right? <laughs> Y'all out here dating all these little women. Uh, little women called bra. Oh, they just gonna throw. They gonna throw a size uh, six drawers in your back seat. You won't even know it until three weeks later. <laughs> You'll be looking at it saying, "What's this napkin over here? It ain't no napkin. That my drawer." <laughs> But yeah. That ain't no bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we always, yeah, we always a, a, a pair of size 12 panties and a pair of size 6 panties in a glove compartment. That's two <laughs> totally different Listen, scenes. A pair of size 6 panties is a napkin. A pair of size 12 <laughs> panties is a seat cover. <laughs> <laughs> you, if, if, if a pair of six pennies is a napkin, that's a napkin. A pair of twelves is a whole towel. No, I told you it's a seat cover. <laughs> <laughs> but they're pretty. They're nice. They're lacy. Oh yes, they can be beautiful. Uh, and it's got a, a whole lot cover. of fabric. God. <laughs> shout out! Listen, shout out to my cute chunky chicks that hold it down. Oh, we in this man, together. That funny. That's right. We hold it down. We got pretty drawers. They just a no, lot I'm of fat. I'm not mad at you now. Don't I get know. it twisted. I'm not mad. I get it. But Wait, you're yeah. playing dirty. No, you're you playing can't. dirty. Always. When women you're out always, here stuffing women, the drawers in the glove compartment and you spraying pillows. That's Wait playing real dirty. No. What's dirty is them drawers in the glove compartment. That's nasty. But spraying the pillow, that's usually... Um, for someone that you want to remember you. It's not usually something for a player because you don't deserve my perfume to remember me by. But women always leave something because if by chance you do have another woman, they want that woman to know there was a woman before them. But brothers will say, oh, that was that's my daughter. My daughter left that. Like, well, who's... I don't use Jasmine Blossom from Bath and Body Works. That's cheap. Oh, that's my daughter. See, 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 see. Now you tell the players. Now you tell the players. That's they right. need to have emergency linen. <laughs> okay. They need to change their linen. You better. From women to women. Well, so first if, of all. If I'm coming over on Monday. But wait a I minute. I need to change my linen for event on Tuesday. But ain't that nasty? You gonna have multiple women on one uh you gonna have multiple women on the same sheets? That's nasty. You are that nasty happens all player. the time. Something like that don't happen. Again, let's put reality here. That happens all the time. Well, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying it's nasty. Guys, <laughs> if you're doing that, change your sheets. Change your <laughs> sheets. That's nasty. I'ma tell you, if you a player, then get right. At least have some clean sheets with your nasty behind. Respect her enough to give <laughs> now, her some now clean, you know men. fresh now sheets. You know men. Let, let her smell some linen. downy. Men ain't into pillowcases. Listen. Men ain't into none of that. Well, so we you, want you, you, you really think yes. every time you go to this man's house, 
you laying on some freshly clean linen? Is that's that what, what you think? But wait a minute. That's what our show is supposed to do. It's supposed <laughs> to give information and enlighten the masses. So guys, clean them sheets. Let us smell that downy. You better iron them sheets for me. Now, and they better you be to the crib. Here you coming to the crib with a black light. Here you coming to the crib with a black light. Like you Ray Donovan. I don't know. <laughs> you that girl before scenes, me, man. the girl before me could have been nasty. She could have body odor. She could have body lice. I'm not trying to sleep behind that mask. Oh, girl. Oh, no. Girl, please. Uh -uh. But, but again, we got to go to break. So we'll we be back. To. We need to. <laughs> Years ago, the family doctor was someone who came to your home. And while that practice has faded into memory, there is someone who keeps the tradition of personal health care alive. Your local Health Mart pharmacist knows you by name, not by refill number. Stop by your independently owned Health Mart pharmacy and see how the tradition of personal health care lives on. Visit healthmart.com for the location near you. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. And we're back, and we're back with one of the funniest topics, by the way. One of the funniest <laughs> topics. <laughs> we, got the, we got the do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. Shout out to Dion McKinney. She came up with this topic. Dion, um, my girl. Yeah, yeah. So we got do's and don'ts of dating more than one person. So I'm here to do a do. And the do is... With all this new dating, oh, all this new, all this new items, computers, phones, tablets, <laughs> you must be technology responsible. <laughs> you must delete your history. You oh. must, you must delete your conversations. You cannot, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot be reckless. Don't stop giving out your password. Stop giving out your password. Your password gives you throw a little cuff over your, they even have the screen over your, um, that you can look at from your phone. That if somebody looking at your phone from an angle, they can't see what you're punching in. Please, okay. please I, be I responsible you, with your technology if you're I want you more than one person. I want you to put your hand up in the air, no, cause we get ready to slap high five. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't let me ask you. Oh, can I use your phone to call home? And you yes. use your phone, and then I gotta see a pair of breasts pop up, huh? Well, well hold on, hold on. Whose breasts are these? Oh, oh, okay. You mean? They mad. You Why mean somebody texting up here in this you? Picture? Okay, you mean somebody texting you breasts? Well, yeah, that's why I oh, said okay, I'm going to use his phone. And I'm like, well, where did these breasts come from? Because you didn't have enough sense to be tax savvy and to cover yourself. Yes, please. Please, man, don't have porn just running on your phone. Don't, I mean, come on. Come on, and the please. Text be, messages. Be the text, text messages. Text messages. You know when you go in the bathroom, I'm going to check your phone. That's don't just being lazy. Don't have them text messages up there talking about, oh, last night was wonderful. Last night was wonderful. You told me lady, you were sick. I lady, brought you over chicken soup and you had a good night with her? Give me back my bowl and my spoon. Ladies, stop going in that man's phone too. That's not your phone. It's not your business. You're right. You don't go with your purse. You're right. That phone is my purse. Oh, that's purse. not true. That's not true. Oh, that is. That's most certainly is true. Don't Guys go damn. right in. God, Don't if you he, dare go on my phone. If he expects you to be a player, a guy will go right into your purse. Yes, Who? he will. A man that go in your purse, man, mm -hmm. I'm saying it now. Mm -hmm. If you go in a woman's purse, either you're married or a sucker. No. Nope. You'll go in a woman's purse. What is he wrong with y'all? He will go in your purse if he thinks that you're cheating on him. He will go in your purse. Yes, he will. Yes, he the, will. Did that man is a sucker? He ain't a sucker. He looking for information. He's not a sucker. What he, he is is an inspector. 
<laughs> okay, let's get it right. Yeah, you say inspector, he's, he's a inspector. sucker. Okay, because, uh, you know, all the women tend to be better at infidelity than men. Infidelity. Mm, they tend to be better at it. They will eventually give you a secret. They will eventually give themselves up. But going into a purse, especially your purse, because your purse got uh, seasoning, uh, <laughs> chewed up food, uh, pads, new and used. Your, or your, whole, your whole purse is a whole uh, 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 miscellaneous uh, uh, bag of treats. Oh, you got candy in it. You got all kinds Listen. of foolishness. In your purse, if you, you go cannot in purse, go in the woman's purse. If you what go, you see is what you get. If you go in my purse, you may fall in and never come out. Yo, I that's a so whole entire stuff. fact. I do, I do. I bring stuff with me. I gotta you got be African comfortable. Food in there? I got, no, not food, not food, not food. <laughs> You, you said you went to snack. Africa, you chewed up some food and did the slot of hand and put it in your bag. Right, but then I threw it out. It's not still in my pocketbook now. That was in 2010. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you didn't forget. But, woo. but listen, you got to be technology responsible. Yes, absolutely. You got to be. Delete the conversation. When you don't delete, it's being lazy. That's all it is. You being lazy. Delete your history. I even delete my history on just like, I don't even want people knowing I'm on ESPN. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Delete I your think, history. Like, come I on. Think, I think that um, when you don't do that, again, it's lack of respect. But like you said, you don't care if the other person knows. So if you're with somebody that don't care that you know that he cheated on you, you crazy to be with him or her. You crazy. Well, well, also, if you know, if you know and you happen to bump into a text message, he or she is going to say to you, well, you know that I talked to her anyway. You know that I date her anyway. So you can't get mad at him. You can't get mad at her. If you are in this relationship knowingly, knowingly in this relationship, you cannot get mad. You okay, need to check so yourself. Okay, listen, I'm going to have to round this out and be the voice of reason. Ladies and gents, <laughs> we too old for this foolishness. <laughs> I need y'all to get your hind parts together. <laughs> Find somebody, settle your behind down. Why? You don't have to worry about mysterious sexually transmitted illnesses. You don't have to worry about bumping into somebody at the grocery store that may beat your behind because you with somebody else. You don't have to worry about having all these different children with all these different grandparents. Because I'm telling you now. All these different legacies. Ain't nothing funnier than two elderly women fighting over a man. That is some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen they, in my life. They ain't got to be ugly. They can be two pretty I women. Ugly. I That's said elderly. Crazy. I didn't say ugly. I said elderly. Oh, elderly. Well, <laughs> yes. Let's hope that when you in your 50s, well, no, I've seen it go down, so let me not say that. <laughs> you know, can we handle ourselves correctly? But Noel and I are trying to help y'all with some life situations. And one of them is if you're a person of a certain age, get your mess together. You let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because we're coming up on the end of the show. Okay. Can you date today? Are you dating today? Are you single? Who you asking? Yvonne? You. Or me? Yeah. I date. I date. Are you dating? Yeah, I is date. It, I recently it, just broke up with somebody that I was with for um, quite a while, but I date. I just so, I was on a date Saturday. It was so, a good one, too. Oh, so how is the dating scene today compared to 1989? Well, 1989, I wasn't dating. I had a five-year-old that, wait a minute, 1989? No, I had a four-year-old I had to take care of by myself. I, I, I understand that. But is the dating, how is the dating scene different today than back in previous years? Um, difference is usually men of a certain age know what they're looking for. Um, so you don't have to like pull it out of them if you like me or not. They'll let you know, hey, I like you. I like you. 
Let's see where this goes. Because so, guys of a certain age ain't trying to die alone. And they want to see if they can uh, die with you. Okay. Okay. But I will say a lot of times they're they're jaded because they've been married once or twice. And they're like, well, I did all that romantic stuff already. No, boo, you better pull some you better pull a rabbit out of a hat and some flowers too. Are so you are you, you you have to re-educate them into romance. Do you use dating websites? Do I use dating websites? I don't anymore. I used to. I used mm. to. I is dated it, a guy it, quite a long time. I met on Black Planet. I'm dating myself. I met Black this guy Planet. On, yeah. I met this guy on Black Planet. This is back in the early 2000s. That's dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's early 2000s. And we were together for five years. But I don't I don't do that anymore. Um, right. You no, know, it's funny. That, uh, uh, they come for me now. Hey, girl, what's <laughs> up? Ooh, where you come from, boo? <laughs> right. So it's no more. It's no more like going because especially with COVID. It's well, no more COVID going though. to a bar. Going to a bar, you sitting there having a drink, and a, a, a man comes up to you and starts a conversation. Okay. I wasn't that chick anyway because I always like to dance. So for you to catch up with me, you're gonna have to catch me on the dance floor. Right. I wasn't right. a, a person to go to a bar, sit there and hope somebody say something to me. And if anybody ever sent me a drink, I sent it back. And the reason why I sent it back was because I don't know if you put something in it. Right, because I was always, me and my wife have this conversation. We always say, if God forbid something happened to us, would we be able to date today? And to both of y'all, yes, you will. And we oh, got to okay. end the show. <laughs> but I wanted to bring some common sense to the end of this. Y'all, get your mess together. <laughs> and we thank you so much for um, for for being with us tonight. You have been listening to He Said, She Said on Rude Radio. And we want you to like, share, and comment on the show. You can give us your suggestions of what you would like uh, future shows to be. Um, just remember, I'm Yvonne, the Motivated Man from Determined Women of Destiny. My show is every Thursday night, 7 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. My co-host is Noel Epps um, from Not Just Sports by Noel Epps. He's Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Don't y'all be missing church for him. I don't care if he got this special going on. I'm going to be in church texting. be in church texting too. <laughs> the lunch special. The lunch game special. That's right. Um, make sure you guys, you know, text him. Win that $20. And yep. As always, we thank you for listening. You guys are making our show one of the hottest shows out there. We thank Number you. Number one thank show. You, thank you. Yeah. Number we one show you. on Root Ranger Radio. We couldn't do it without you. He said, she said, again, it's powered by Root Rangers Entertainment. Our creative director is Rudy J. Breedy. Rudy! Hey! Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. And we'll see you same time, same bad station next week. <laughs> Until then, peace and blessings, good people. Peace and blessings. Peace.